Sonic Future Killing Cancer. Edited by Anthony Johnson, Greg McLaren, and Caitlin Pribula. Every everyone we know. Awesome. <laughs> Mike, dude, he's in a Chronic Future. Out of turn number one, filmmakers from Collins College. All right, so you worked on Chronic Future, right? Yep. What'd you do? Uh, I was audio and grip. And All right. lighting also. I helped out with that. All right, so how, how, how do you feel about this premiere? I'm really, really excited. It's been exhausting nine months. I've seen it a billion times, but now that it's finally here, I'm excited. What'd you do for Chronic Future? <laughs> I was the main editor, and after this was dropped on me, I only had... A month to work on it, so we're editors. <laughs> we're editors. <laughs> so yeah, it was a month to edit and all this stuff, and everything was like put on me at the last moment. So you know, I'm really glad that we we're able to you know finally have this done, and I'm just you know glad that you know I got this done for everyone. So, so <laughs> yep, a lot of sleepless nights and just editing and you know energy drinks and anything else to keep me up. <laughs> Alrighty. So, yep. So, right. always plan your documentaries first. <laughs> <laughs> so you, all right. So you worked on Chronic Feature, right? I did. All right. So what'd you do for it? Uh, I did the motion graphics for it, and I sat down with the editors a little bit and helped out editing. All right. Uh, I'm freaking nervous, but it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, I know your your motion graphics are gonna encompass that whole screen right there, right? Yep. All right. The whole damn thing. <laughs> Cool, so what, uh, you worked in Chronic Feature, right? I did, I did. What, uh, what, what did you do for it? I was uh, like an assistant editor in the, uh, in the beginning days. I was the main editor that was working on, or the second editor with Caitlin. And um, we worked on Sizzle Reels, kind of getting the name out there. When the big thing picked up, Anthony Johnson took over, and then I was kind of the backup guy to help whatever slack you need to pick up, I'd pick up on. But uh, mm -hmm. in the end, it's more about being part of the whole crew than having a specific position, because anything you needed, you know, a rod to drop something off, pick up equipment, get these guys someplace they had to go, or just borrowing the truck when it comes down to it, what you did. So, you know, we're team, the team stuck like together, and, and that's what helps, that's what worked. Alrighty, cool. So how do you feel about the premiere? I'm excited, and like, like Logan said, kind of nervous, man, like we're going to find out everyone likes it, and uh, I mean, I haven't seen the full thing through yet, I refuse to watch it, other than the pieces I had to edit or help cut, so this is my first actual viewing of it, and I have somehow have something to say. Mike and Lee were the front runners on the whole thing, oh, so props yeah. to them all the way. Oh, yeah, they were the, they were the Lee's next, so. Oh, yeah. Those guys, they held the entire thing together, but well, we all fell apart and fell to pieces and cried. They picked us back up and kept us going until now. And uh, even in the days when it seemed like it was, you know, just too much, they got us here. And Henry Miller, I'm sorry. Henry Miller. Those three guys Thanks, left the entire thing. And here's a man now, Henry Miller. Right. Well, this is a little busy, so I'll, <laughs> yeah. I'll get him later. Get him later. Well, we're excited right. yeah, Thank you all for coming out and supporting us. It means a lot, especially after now. But I want to introduce the crew that worked for me, uh, with me for six months straight and, you know, seven days a week, 15, 20 hours a day. I mean, these kids put their heart and soul into doing this, and I couldn't have done it without them. They really made it a reality. So if they could come up, uh, Logan, <laughs> Caitlin. And Mr. Lee Tacker. <laughs> Without all of them, this wouldn't have happened or been a reality. We're talking over 300 hours of editing and probably seemed like five million hours of shooting, but uh, we got it done, and uh, I can't thank these guys enough for all the hard work they did, so enjoy, thank you for coming out, and we deeply appreciate everything, especially to all my investors. Thank you.
Up to you too. I saw your name up there. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever used my audio command did it, did yeah. it well. Did it very well. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So, what did you think of the movie? It was very informative. Um, it has definitely changed my perspective on medical marijuana. Uh, I used to think it was good. Now I think it's great. Um, yeah. It was uh, blast and blast. So, what did you think? I thought it was amazing. Uh, it was really put together really nicely. Uh, it was very strong. It had a really nice story. It was pretty funny. Uh, the government is crazy. That's all I can say. <laughs> right. I can smoke weed, but I feel like I need to smoke weed just to, you know, rebel against the government right now. So. All right. It was pretty good. I thought it was pretty funny at the end where the government reading part about why uh, white men <laughs> black men, but I like your haircut. Oh, thank good. you very much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought it was very uh, informative movie. A lot of things I've learned that I didn't know before. Proud of all my buddies like uh, Greg, Lee, and Mike, uh, Logan, everybody else that was in the movie, you know, that participated in making this movie. You know, shout out to them. Congratulations, guys. Thought it was good. There's a lot of things I didn't know. There's a lot of things that I want to look into more. I don't know if I'm going to accept some things at face value, but it's definitely look, uh, worth looking into. And uh, I don't know. I mean, overall, it's an interesting topic. I'm sure there's a lot of people that care very deeply about this sort of thing. So it'd be definitely something interesting to see if you're looking into it. Alright, so uh, this is just the end of the premiere. How did you feel about the movie? I loved it. I thought everybody on the crew worked really, really hard, put a lot into it. You see it on the screen. is amazing. <laughs> How'd you like the film? I, I mean, I've seen it so many times, I, it's hard to say. I, I love it no matter what. All these guys did such great work on it. I mean, I can't, I can't thank them enough. I mean, hopefully we get pushed out to the rest of the theaters by, by the end of the film. Uh, yeah, what do you think about those audience reactions, huh? Um, I, I like it. I mean, uh, you know, we, we had a few problems with Al, but we're getting that worked out as well, and we'll just move forward. We'll go on with the series and keep making, you know, keep, keep helping patients. That's, that's really what it's all about. All right. So the, your film just premiered. Uh, how, how do you feel right now? Relieved. <laughs> Relieved? Yeah, no, I mean, you know, I thought everybody, uh, I thought it was received pretty well. We had, uh, it was almost completely packed house. I'm very relieved. People seem to have liked it. I'm pretty proud of it. All right, so are there any future plans to get this to, just to multiple theaters, or is it just going to be this one time? Absolutely, no, it's not going to be this one time. Uh, it actually starts playing here uh, for everybody uh, starting tomorrow, and hopefully it does well enough that it'll travel to the rest of the Harkins and hopefully all the other theaters in the U.S. at least. All right. Well, I'll definitely be telling some friends, uh, friends of mine, to see this. Thank you. Uh, do you have any closing comments you want to make about anything? It was a long work. It was a long, long time we worked on it, but we we all kept through. Our crew, everybody, just we hung together, and I'm just really proud of what came out. All righty. Well, thank you very much. No worries.